here are some works examples of acid and metal reactions. You need to remember that when an acid reacts with a metal, we are always, always, always going to get a salt and hydrogen. Now the common acids you're going to come across are hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and nitric acid, HNO3. And what you should have noticed is that all of these begin with an H, and that's the bit that makes it acidic. These little H's here. The salt that's formed from all of these is going to be, depending on the metal, a metal chloride. Metal sulfate. Or a metal nitrate. So if you want to have a go at these yourself, you can pause it, have a go, and then check your answers. So hydrochloric acid and sodium will give us sodium chloride plus hydrogen. The formula for this is HCl plus sodium. So you have a chloride plus hydrogen. We now need to balance this equation by putting some cheese everywhere. Now, you can either learn how to name things. So the, the metal, in the salt, the metal is always going to go first and then the type of the acid is always going to go second. So here we had Sodium is our metal, so that's gone first, sodium, and it's hydrochloric acid, so that it's gone second, the chloride, and the hydrogen. The other way to do this is to look at the equation and work it out from the equation. So in hydrochloric acid, we have hydrogen and chlorine. Sodium, we just have sodium. Now, we know hydrogen is going to be produced, and that takes this away to make hydrogen. So that goes over there, and the things that we are left with are sodium and chlorine. So they have to go together to make sodium chloride. Sulfuric acid and sodium. So again, the salt that's going to be produced is going to have our metal first, and because it's sulfuric acid, it is going to be a sulfate salt plus hydrogen. If we look at the equation, it is H2SO4 plus sodium I don't need to balance that by popping a T in front of there. Now I know that uh, sodium sulfate is going to be Na2SO4. The reasons for this um, are a bit too complicated to explain in this video, but I have done another video explaining of this. So if we look at the ions again, we have H ions, uh, SO4, 2 minus ion, and we have sodium. If the hydrogen goes off to make hydrogen, then the sodium has to go with the sulfate to make sodium sulfate. If we react nitric acid with sodium, we are going to end up with our salt, sodium, the metal, and then nitrate, because we're using nitric acid. And because it's just a metal, we're going to have hydrogen produced. Hydrochloric acid and calcium will be Calcium, that's the metal, because it's hydrochloric acid, it will be chloride as our salt, and because we just have the metal, we're also going to get hydrogen produced. Sulfuric acid and calcium, again, a salt and hydrogen will be produced. 
The salt is going to be calcium, the metal goes first and because it's sulfuric acid it will be calcium sulfate and hydrogen. Nitric acid and calcium, again we're going to have salt and hydrogen produced. The salt, the name starts with the metal, calcium and because it's nitric acid it's going to be a metal nitrate and hydrogen produced. Hydrochloric acid and potassium. We again going to get a salt and hydrogen, so that is going to be potassium chloride. And hydrogen, sulfuric acid, and lithium. Lithium sulfate plus hydrogen, and nitric acid plus magnesium. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you'll get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order you can visit my website primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections? Down below, please.